Hey, what's up guys? I hope you guys are having a great day. Today's vlog is a little bit different. I actually filmed something else today as you guys see yesterday's vlog. I filmed a prank today and the behind the scene and everything. It went awesome and crazy. But the thing is, I can't post that right now just yet on the vlog because if I post that, you guys will be able to know what actually happened before I post the prank. So I have to edit the prank. When the time I post the prank, then I can post that vlog as well. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, so instead of posting that vlog, I'm going Going to do a quick Q&A today and I asked you guys on my social media to follow me on snapchat and I'm doing a snapchat Q&A so make sure you follow me on snapchat and all other things so when I do stuff like this I can feature you on again on my vlogs usually I have my snapchat set it as private so not everybody can send me anything but right now I set it on public so anyone that add me on snapchat can send me questions what's up guys I just set it out the lighting the camera everything so ask me anything now oh and make sure you ask me on a video snap not just a text snap otherwise I can't feature you sup man my name is Alex and I just want to know like where do you get all your clothes well I get all my clothes usually anywhere I travel a lot sometimes if I'm in Paris I just shop whatever they got there honestly I don't really care about brand brand for me it's just a marketing thing like people spend money to clothes that the brand spend lots of marketing to brand themselves so honestly I don't care about any brand if anything cool anything looks sick I like the style it fits me I buy it I hope that answered your question so basically whatever fits my style I buy them hi Josh who and what inspired you to make YouTube YouTube videos biggest fan love your videos keep up the great work back in the day I would say vlog wise it was definitely the shaytards I don't know if you guys watch them or you know them I watched them when I was back in 2008 or 2010 and that inspired me to do vlogs but obviously compared to now the vlog world is so different it involves so much but yeah there's a lot of people inspire me I think everybody who make good video inspire me to be a better youtuber how long do you want to make YouTube videos? What's up from Germany? How long do I want to make YouTube videos? As long as I have the ability to entertain you guys and to show you guys and make you guys laugh, make you guys day better, I will continue to do YouTube videos. But I will always make videos, I think just a good way to express certain story or certain elements in life and inspire people and make people laugh josh what inspired you to start youtube what inspired me making youtube videos uh i think i just love make people laugh so when i was a kid i always loved making my whole classroom laugh like my friends laugh it made me feel great to make someone laugh and to make this world a better place i was just wondering uh what's your favorite sport and What's your favorite player from that sport? Well, I don't really watch sport that much, but I look like Neymar. I would say soccer. <laughs> hey Josh, I was just wondering, um, what do you plan on doing in the future career-wise, or do you want to do YouTube like for your whole life? That's a good question. So I think I will definitely continue to do YouTube. I think it's awesome. It's a new media and this new way to connect people. Nowadays, you can connect from this little phone way easier than connect through like a broadcast like a tv something like that you i can connect to millions of people from a phone rather than have to go on set and all that i think the whole concept of broadcast and tv and movie and stuff like that is emerging to the internet so i definitely would want to stay in touch with internet and that's the future now we're living the future right now i would love to definitely get more into uh, the tv industry and movie industry at the same time i love music and uh, some of you guys know i dj so i would love to start getting more into like the production of producing music and djing performing love the videos man um where do you see yourself in 10 years <laughs> Are you at work, bro? Like, is that a uniform thing? <laughs> I see you Snapchatting when you're at work. I'm just joking. That's an actually interesting question. I'm not sure. 10 years ago, I, where I thought I would be today is was completely different. I would say maybe 10 years from now, hopefully, hopefully, I will still be doing YouTube. I hope I can stay connect with you guys. You guys can still watch me. That would be cool. Maybe not continue to do pranks. Maybe we'll do something else. I don't know if I will have a family within 10 years. I probably might have a family 
within the next 10 years it sounds kind of scary but yeah i think i might have a family by that time we'll see 10 years later when i see myself on this video hey josh um i want to know how long you have been living in america for also is there any girl that you have a crush on how long have i been living in america well i have lived in the u.s for 10 years actually and for the second question i mean if you watch my vlogs on my prank channel you know i have a girlfriend right now so She's the only one at the moment. What's up, Josh? I just want to say hi, and I have a question for you. Um, I want to know if you were born in another country, because I know it could be hard, um, because my... I know it can be hard because my dad is actually an immigrant from Syria, and um, it might be a little bit tough uh, to get over here and get adapted to things. Well, I actually talked about it in a couple vlogs before. I was not born in the United States. I was born in Taiwan, Taipei. And yeah, it was pretty difficult when I came here because I was came, I came here by myself when I was 17. So yeah, I'm, I was already in the teenager year, but you know, I always have an open mind and open culture. I would love to learn stuff and meet new people. So it was pretty hard for me, I would say the first two years. And then I started getting used to it. English become my, instead of second language, become my first language. A little fun fact, when I just got here, I barely speak that much English. And when I dream talk, my, uh, my roommate told me I always dream talk in Chinese. But two, three years later, because my English became better, when I dream talk, I actually dream talk in English. Hey, just I'm gonna ask you a question. How you meet your girlfriend and where you meet your girlfriend? Thank you. How I meet my girlfriend, that's a long story. I might do another video with her when she's here again. So let me know if you guys want to know more about that. Please keep the comment section below. Let me know if you want to know more how I meet my girlfriend. And where, I can tell you where. We met each other in Paris. Hey, Josh. I just want to ask you. How was it when you first moved to LA? Sorry, I didn't really get the question. I think you mean how awesome it is when I first moved to LA. LA is awesome. There's a lots of lots of people and different cultures, so I love it, especially the food. All right, a question: When you did when you were with Lance, did you do the Ouija board? Don't mind my hair. But yeah, did you do the Ouija board? Well, when I was with Lance. He always tried to do a bunch of Ouija board video. I never did. It's just weird because uh, some of, some of you guys don't believe those kind of thing or ghosts and stuff. I do because I seen crazy stuff before when I was in Taiwan. I see people get possessed in Taiwan because they believe that's like their god and religion. So I seen people get possessed and they basically climb on like knife and just and they don't feel pain just because they're possessed and you can tell they're not like conscious anymore they just become like you can tell there's something in them and i think i found it kind of interesting for those people that believe ghosts and stuff like that but they don't believe in god it's like how's that word like everything has a balance if you believe this ghost obviously this a god you know this kind of something to balance it before youtube what was your occupation before youtube what was i doing well i think i talked about this before I didn't start right away as a YouTuber or make videos on YouTube. I was just doing it for fun. I did some waiters job before and some internship. My first real job after graduate from college, I was uh, working at a big company, like a retail company, uh, as a mark online marketing marketer, something like that. It wasn't really that fun. Wasn't really that interested me, and I just did, didn't see a big potential and you know I hate it and I'm like you know what life is too short to hate my job I need to do something else that I love so that's how I started yeah I've been to Philippines oh man that was long time ago I was really young I think I was like 10 or 11 years old I was really young and I would love to go back. I would definitely love to go back. I think it was really cool memory. It was awesome, it was fun, and everything, everybody was really friendly. I would definitely would love to come again. Hi Josh, my question is, would you ever want a twin? Would I ever want a twin? Oh yes, I thought of that question before. I would love to have a twin. I think that would be so awesome to see myself next to me. Since I don't have a twin, I would love to have the twins in the future as kids, maybe like twin boys or something. I think that would be so cool. Just like, I don't know who's who. Pepsi or Coke? Pepsi or Coke? Dr. Pepper. Sorry, my English is not so perfect, but you went to visit Germany? I think you meant, have I been to Germany or would I want to go to Germany? Have I been to Germany? Yes, I have. I think it was last year. 
yeah, I've been to Germany last year. It was cool. But the thing is, I went to not a too good of a city. I forgot the name of the city. You can see my early vlogs last year when I went to Germany. I forgot the name. But it wasn't that good. It was a little ghetto and people wasn't that nice. But I would definitely give a second chance. I heard like Cologne or like Berlin might be cool to check it out. I'm not sure about it. Yeah, sure, why not? How old are you? How am I? Well, use your math real quick. I came here when I was 17 and that was 10 years ago. Josh, are you gonna get a uh, PlayStation 4 or an Xbox? I'm still thinking maybe Xbox just because all my friends in the building, everyone has Xbox. So if I get a PS4, who I'm gonna play with. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. I think that's my first Q&A ever. If I should do more Q&A or with other people, let me know. Since a lot of my friends in this building are YouTubers and Viner and stuff like that, let me know if I should do other Q&A with other people or with, maybe with my girlfriend. Just all put in the comment section below. I'm gonna read them and I'm gonna see what I can do with it. Please give a big thumbs up on this video so I know you guys like Q&A video and I will do more of them. I gotta go right now and edit this video and post it so you guys can see it. And I gotta start adding the prank video now so you guys can see what went down yesterday. I'll see you guys on another vlog. Why are you always watch <laughs> shit like that? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Bro, you're bleeding. Like <laughs> Bro, you're bleeding. Bro, you're bleeding, bro. <laughs>